Yo, remember yo. back on the bully when cats used to harmonize yeah. like... Hi Gems and welcome back to my channel and those who are new, welcome as well. Uh, today I really just wanted to play one of my palettes that I've had for quite some time but I just haven't used it and it's the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Um, I am going out tonight to celebrate a friend's birthday so I figured why not do a nighttime look that you guys can follow with me. I have never, I think only one other time done a talk through. So hopefully it's not too long and it's not like annoying. But if you need a snack, grab one now while you can. And uh, hopefully you'll follow through with me. And if you want to see how I achieve this smoky, we're going to say Caitlyn Rose. Since I did inject one makeup geek color. Uh, continue watching. Bye. All right, gems, let's just jump right into it. Um, let me start off with what I did to prep my skin. I used my Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask, and I'll go more into depth about this mask. Let's just say it's amazing. You leave it on your skin for five or 10 minutes, you wash off, um, then you use your toner as you normally would in your process. And then for moisturizer today, I use my Pond's clear b3 dark spot correcting cream is for normal to dry skin and the only reason why i'm using this as you all know i'm oily is because the winter i don't know what is going on but i'm noticing peeling around my nose and around my mouth so i decided to go that route for moisturizer so um i don't do these often you know like a talk through but i figured since i'm getting ready for a friend's birthday party this little house gathering at their house i figured i could chat it up and if you hear noise in the background Joelle is playing a game on his PlayStation, and even though I'm in the room next door, maybe y'all know how that goes. Eyebrows, I'm using my spiked eyebrow crayon from this. I know you've seen me do this a hundred times, but I always go through like my phases of what products I want to use for my brows. And before I used to use my dip down pomade, like it was nobody's business. But then I started using a pencil, and I feel like... I've decided to go a little thinner with my brows lately and it just fills them in perfectly I just feel like there's more control for me and again it's just a phase <laughs> it may 100% change in the upcoming months who knows but this has been my go-to so she's on now And then we just use our spoilie to kind of brush the product through, making sure that we filled it in the way that we like. And this step is not necessary. It's just I'm in this rhythm where I like the tips of my brow to be darker than like the front part. And I would hope everyone follows this. But I go with my espresso eyeshadow and just my MAC 266. And I just, at the end of it, fill it in a little bit deeper. For my under brow cleanup highlight i'm going to be using my select cover-up can we just talk about this bottle i've had this forever i already have a replacement in my back stock but i just feel like i'm using every last drop i mean you pay 30 dollars for something you want every penny's worth of. and then i go in with my sigma e15 flat brush and for me this has just been my go-to with cleaning up underneath my eyes because it is a liquid product, I like to set this, and I'm just going to go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Deep Dark. Yeah, Deep Dark. And I just use my Handy Dandy 217 brush, and I set that product under my brow. So then, totally your decision, but the way that I approach it, I like to do my eyes before my foundation, it just in case there's any fallout. I, I am playing with a new palette today, and it is my Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I've had this since it released, I just haven't played in it. Like, I'm all about collection. <laughs> so I was like, oh, why not? Let today be the day. Um, so before I put any product on my eyes, I like to use my MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Eye Base. Nothing new here. Just apply that right on the lid. So for my first transition color, I'm going to use my MAC Saddle. And I'm going to use my absolute favorite burning brush that I probably need to reinforce because I've been using it hardcore for months now. Um, and this is my Beach Cosmetics Blending Brush. They don't, they don't number their brushes, but I'm just going to pop that on 
it's a saddle is actually the is a saddle yeah saddles the same tone as my skin but it's really good with blending out the other colors on the lid next up is my favorite transition color that you all i mean at this point in the game on my videos i've used it a million and one times it's my anastasia beverly hills morocco um i did go ahead and buy this in the single shadow but i'm gonna as you know use this to the last drop So my next transition color will be Password, which is like a gray, a purple gray. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use the blending brush that's already in the palette. And this is nice, like it looks like a detailed uh, pencil brush on the end, and then you have like more of like a, a quick one's like a 217 on the other end. I'm gonna pop this on the lid. Start, starting on my outer V and working into the center of my pupil. And I'm going on my BH Cosmetics blending brush and blending those colors together. Don't want any harsh lines. Key to a smoky eye is blend, blend, blend. Next up, we're going to take that purple, but we're going to do this using a synthetic brush because I want the color to really, really pop. So this is my MAC 242 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Fix Plus. A little more. And I'm jump right into the smolder. It may not give me the purple, but it's gonna give me a really sexy finish. Yeah. See, it's not really as spread as I hoped, but we can work on that. You wanna go in with your blending brush. You can take the like I had the larger one um, from BH Cosmetics, or you can take the blending brush that you used for the password which is like the smoky gray and just make sure you blend that placement together so that it's really seamless and grow it's um, gradient up until the maraca that you place so because I want this I need something on the lid like I just have a hard time with not having a little sparkle or shine I'm going to go into another palette of mine I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Caitlin Rose from Makeup Geek. It's a foiled color, but I'm not gonna put it on a brush. I'm gonna use my finger just to place it on the lid. Do I have that in here? Where are you? Please hold. So I got my Caitlin Rose. So I'm not gonna have an emotional breakdown right now. Cause I just dropped that cape letter out. And I'm just gonna put it right in the center. A little bit more. A little bit more. For my fallen color. And then we're gonna go back and blend it out. On the outer V, I'm going to go back into deep in the crease of my eye. I'm going to go back in this palette and I'm going to use Blue Market. Blue Market. Black Market. On the outer V to really increase like the definition. And I'm going to use the back end of the Urban Decay um, application brush. And I'm going to drop that just on the outer V. All right, ladies and gents. So because this is a nighttime look, um, there's absolutely no way I can get away with not putting a liner on. And this is, I mean, everyone knows about this one. This is my NYC liquid liner in black. But I'm just gonna really quickly, my preference, I may have a mirror right directly in front of me, but I like using a compact. I like tilting my head back and look down. And that's how I apply my liners that I feel like it gives me the application that I like and a very straight line. So 
So I'm going to start with my new fave mascara lately. It's the Falsies Push Up Drama. And I'm just putting on one coat because I am dropping on lashes. So we're going to drop on some Pixie Lux by Coco Lashes. Um, they're bomb and that's all I got to say about that. And the lash adhesive that I'm using is my Revlon Precision, which I've been loving. Okay. I'm going to pop on my second one and zoom out so then we can start doing face. Primer. I'm still using and loving my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, which is a base modifying primer. And I dropped this all in my T-zone. And this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. Comes in a nice little tube jar like this. Um, and it does have a pump. Um, I was in between sandalwood and minx, but after trying it on for a week and doing one day with minx, one day with sandalwood, I actually got more compliments with the flawless finish of my skin than um, any of my other foundations lately. So I landed on sandalwood. It does have a red undertone, which I love because I feel like it's complimentary to my undertones because I have more of a warm finish. But they do suggest, because it's a thick consistency, um, squeezing and putting it on the back of your hand. So as you can see, it's not moving. It's not a runny con consistency at all. And then warm it up because a little bit goes a long way. So I did about three pumps on the three small pumps and I'm just warming it up on the back of my hand and then I'll place this directly on my face. One other thing, when I apply this foundation, I don't use my Morphe brush or even my It Cosmetics foundation brush. I've been using a beauty blender. It is a little damp and then I just go in and blend this all in. skin like so it does I feel like this is a good dupe and an affordable dupe for the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer yeah and I think how much was she she was like $6.99 I actually picked this up when I was in Hawaii because yes I traveled without a concealer who does that um, and I've fallen in love with it again with that same damn beauty blender and I'm gonna dampen it a little bit more with my fix plus you guys see me do this, but not with this concealer. It's just so flawless and skin like It just, look at that, the blending. I and then normal steps, we go in with our setting powder. I'm using my Sasha Buttercup uh, setting powder, everything and more, finely grained, light. I just dip that same beauty blender and I apply this. I'm not baking, I'm just gonna press this in to set it. Because it's winter, I don't need to bake. You don't need to be dry. You're already gonna be dry. <laughs> Absolute favorite eyeliner. If you haven't picked this up yet, I mean, what's going on? Let's talk about it. And this is my L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil. But it's in a pencil form. It's just super, super creamy. And I'm all about a smoky lower lash. And then I'm going to go in with my pencil brush. This is my Sephora Precision Smudge in number 29. No product and just smudge out that eyeliner. Wait a minute. Let's make sure it's clean from the previous application. <laughs> and then smudge it out. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the smolder, which is that smoky purple that I use on the lid underneath of Caitlin Rose. Same precision smudge and just go underneath my eyeliner with that to deepen it up. I go back into my Morocco to make sure that the top lid and the lower lash line marries like they're in the same party. 
same smudger, a little bit of that Morocco, and they go underneath of that. Then for my lower lash line mascara, I'm gonna use my Max Ex Mac Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Then for my contour, I have not again reinvented the wheel. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder in Carab. And then I have been using my Sigma F40, so F40, and applying my contour. To set my entire face, you have two options here. I you like to use my MAC, Mineralize. this is not it. <laughs> I like to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish or I actually love using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Deep Dark and this is in um, the darkest color that they provide. I don't know the color, I don't know the name. I think it's like Coco or something. I don't know, probably, whatever, the, the deepest shade they have. But I'm gonna go in with my uh, Mineralize Skin Finish. And just reinforce the areas that become dark on my skin I mean dark that become glowy and set that like to warm up my skin tone and I'm using my uh, covergirl ebony bronzer and I just reinforce and come up a little bit higher on my cheeks and a little bit deeper in my forehead because I have a five head and I want it to be a four ELJ all right and just bring a little bit of warmth in. Cheeks, I'm going with my Clinique Cheek Pop in the color Cola Pop. And this is a really pretty um, berry red undertone and I love using my Real Techniques stippling brush for my cheeks. And you just smile and you just apply. And then I am using my Real Technique setting brush and a little bit of Champagne Pop. A little bit goes a long way, but I want to be, you know, do the damn thing. And then I just pop that on the higher points of my cheek. Right? My nose. A little bit of my forehead. Cupid's bow. Just below my chin. Not too much. I don't need to look like a glow worm. You dig? Let me use... Sorry, I lost a little bit of footage, but I'm using Max Plum Liner, and I'm filling in the whole lip, just about. Mm -hmm. And then for lip, I'm using Kinda Sexy by Mac. Just kind of placing that on there. Then I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Pro Long Lip Glass, and this is an Everlasting Nude, and I'm going to drop that right in the middle, just a little bit. And then one last spray. I don't have any hair, so there's no prepping there. <laughs> and there you have it. A little smoky Caitlin Rose. So, I hope you enjoy these gems. I have not done a talk to you in quite some time, so hopefully I didn't bore you, I didn't talk too much, I didn't annoy you. <laughs> but until our next video, gems shine bright. Bye.